Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of banana farming in the Philippines. Believe it or not, the Philippines is a banana producing country. While not the global leader, the Philippine banana farming industry contributes a significant 9.5 million tons to the national fruit supply. However, the image of sprawling banana plantations likely conjures visions of tropical locals. So how do Philippine banana farms make it work? The journey of banana farming begins with the careful selection of banana varieties suited to the local climate. In the Philippines, popular varieties include the Cavendish, which is known for its resilience and productivity. Farmers start by planting banana suckers or tissue-cultured plants in well-prepared soil enriched with organic matter to support healthy growth. Planting usually occurs at the start of the rainy season to take advantage of natural rainfall. The spacing of banana plants is crucial. They are typically planted about 8-10 feet apart to allow sufficient room for growth and access for maintenance. Once planted, the banana plants require regular watering. This is where the specialized irrigation systems come into play. Drip irrigation is commonly used, providing a steady supply of water directly to the root zone, minimizing wastage and ensuring the plants remain hydrated. Banana plants also need a balanced supply of nutrients. Farmers employ fertilization programs tailored to the needs of the plants, using both organic and inorganic fertilizers. Organic fertilizers, such as compost and manure, improve soil structure and fertility, while inorganic fertilizers supply essential nutrients like nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. As the banana plants grow, they require constant care and monitoring. Pruning is an essential practice, involving the removal of dead leaves and excess suckers to promote healthy growth. This process helps in maintaining plant vigor and improving air circulation within the plantation, reducing the risk of disease. Pest and disease management is another critical aspect of banana farming. Common pests include banana weevils and nematodes, while diseases such as Panama disease and black cigatoka can devastate crops. Farmers employ Integrated Pest Management, EPM, strategies combining biological controls, such as introducing natural predators with chemical treatments to keep pest populations in check. The banana plants typically take about nine 12 months to produce fruit. As the bananas develop, they grow in clusters called hands, which form part of a larger bunch. When the bananas reach maturity, they are harvested while still green. This ensures they ripen gradually and can withstand transportation to markets.
harvesting bananas is a labor-intensive process. Workers use sharp knives to cut down the bunches, which can weigh up to 100 pounds. The harvested bunches are then transported to packing stations where they undergo careful handling to avoid bruising. At the packing station, the bananas are washed to remove any field dirt and treated with fungicides to prevent post-harvest diseases. The next step is sorting and grading. Bananas are sorted based on size, shape, and quality. Only the best quality bananas make it to the export market, while others are sold locally or used for processing. The sorted bananas are then packed into boxes, each weighing around 40 pounds, and labeled for export. In terms of production, 2023 was a notable year for the Philippine banana industry. Despite the challenges posed by climate change and pest pressures, Philippine farmers produced a remarkable 9.5 million tons of bananas. This production not only met the domestic demand, but also contributed significantly to the export market. The majority of bananas grown in the Philippines are exported to Canada, Japan, and parts of Europe, where they are highly valued for their quality. Now, I will introduce to you the process of making fried bananas at the factory. Only bananas that meet the standards for size, shape, and firmness are selected for making banana chips. This selection process is often done by hand to ensure consistent quality. The selected bananas are then sliced evenly, about 3M thick, to achieve the perfect crispiness. The slices are then fried in an industrial fryer, ensuring they are evenly cooked and crispy. This fryer uses a conveyor belt system to ensure uniform frying from start to finish. After frying, the banana chips are seasoned or flavored before packaging. Seasoning enhances the flavor and makes the banana chips more appealing. The packaging process uses multi-head weighing machines to ensure each packet contains the precise amount of banana chips. Banana chips are not only healthful, but also convenient and easy to carry. With a modern production process, each packet of banana chips is of high quality and safe for consumers. This is the process of making banana chips, from caring for the banana plants to the final product being packaged and ready for consumers. In summary, Philippine banana farming is a dynamic and evolving industry characterized by innovation, sustainability, and a commitment to quality. The ability to produce 9.5 million tons of bananas annually is a testament to the dedication and expertise of Philippine farmers. As we look ahead, the continued focus on research, sustainable practices, and market expansion will ensure that the Philippine banana industry remains a vital part of the agricultural landscape. Thank you for joining us today on this journey through the world of Philippine banana farming. 
We hope you enjoyed learning about the intricate processes involved in bringing this beloved fruit from the farm to your table. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights into the world of agriculture on our channel, 